up and rolling. Uh, it's been a minute. Um, we've each had some little subcast things. I recorded one. Got another one uh, in the works, ready to go. Uh, you said you were. You had the yeah, notes I've on got, another I've one ready. For, actually, so, one. Like yeah, three, I think. I think. Yeah. Um, I think your stuff is lightening up. You said with like school, so oh, your yes. timing is coming up. It's the um, end of that semester. You know that end of the semester stuff is like the. So when everything like hits you at once, so it's like you just like put so much focus into that. So yeah, it, it then, just it's put a strain. Yes, yeah, so, and then we've been busy with uh, our end of the semester stuff, or we're getting close to the end of our school year, and you know it kind of gets a little crazy, crazy and hectic. Uh, things are amping up for all the end of the year school stuff. The classes that I do over the mm-hmm. summer, I'm now getting in contact with the people that I do with that kind of stuff. So I'm getting all that info. So it's kind of like. In a way, it's like lightening a load, but then getting busier, and then yeah. it's like, okay, we got still got to make sure we get our recording time in, um, you know. So, in a nutshell, that's where we've been, just doing different things, and you know, um, you know. Unfortunately, this is not our full time gig, uh, which would be quite amazing. If we could just if we could just podcast and just wrestle and just run a gym and oh, you know, just be cerebrous, but uh, you know, we're a couple of lottery tickets away. So, if you want to donate a lottery ticket or ten thousand, uh, go ahead and send them our way. Yeah, I think we only need what about like twenty five million for <laughs> yeah. a building. Yeah, just start up. Just yeah, start, just start, just start so, round number. And, well, let's go ahead and go into other inf- unfortunate thing. Um, yeah, and by no means is this a, a, a slide or anything. Uh, more power to them. Uh, Fractal BJJ is, yeah. is doing good things, but they're going more of the uh, gear cool. route yeah. and um, you know less of the focus on the soaps. Which you know we, I mean, we like the gear. The gear is pretty awesome. Yeah, the rash guards awesome. and stuff like that. I love their shirt. But, yeah. um, you know, but I, I am a little saddened in the sense that I, I, I feel dirty. Um, yeah. You know, not in that way. But uh, okay, maybe. Um, but the fact that like oh, we can't yeah. get the soap anymore, um, unless he's doing like mass shipments, and uh, I think it's gonna be you know for the, yeah. the, luckily enough for the people well, local. I actually needed it last week, so well, see, that's what I was. Yeah. I was on my last one. Yeah. I went to go reorder and re, you know restock, and then it yeah. wasn't on the side anymore. And so oh, what happened was like last week I, I was at work, and there's a guy at work. Um, he's a younger guy. He had ringworm on his wrist. Oh, so you were like, like, I got you. I was like, dude. I was like, you need to cover that. Mm-hmm. And I told him, like, I was like, I even got some soap for this, yada, 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 because I still have some uh, soap at the house. Mm-hmm. And I was like, all right, you need to cover that or it's going to spread because it's, like, super contagious. Well, lo and behold, because we're at work and he's touching similar surfaces, I got out of the shower, like, it was, like, a Tuesday, and I noticed this on, like, a Sunday or something. I looked at my elbow, and it popped up right there on my elbow. Ah. And I was like, oh! And then I thought I had some at the house, but I, I don't. So, yeah. or actually, no, I think I do have like two bars left. Just now, nah, I think I was on my last bar, and I was like, all right, well, I was getting ready to be on the last bar. We went yeah. to go place the order with the coupon code Reverse Wrestling, which I guess might still work for gear. Yeah. Go give it a try, somebody. Um, and then uh, got in contact with. They said, you know, it was just a shipping. It's more yeah. of a shipping thing than yeah, anything because, else. Yeah, because I mean, shipping and, it across the yeah. And I think the uh, locally, cool. there's this local will have it. So yeah. if anybody's local wants to uh, send me like five cases, that's cool. So. Um, you know, but awesome for him. Unfortunately, uh, you know, the, we ain't got to roll soap out here. So, you know, like I said, not a, not a slight, not a slam or anything. Actually, uh, still good promotion oh, yeah. and, uh, you know, good advertisement for him. You know, love, love their uh, their gear and whatnot. Yeah, his, awesome. his their rash shirts. Uh, his yeah. rash guards sell pretty well. I mean, I see a lot of people oh, yeah. wearing them. Oh, and I still love my, uh, you know, uh, I heart aggressive cuddling. Oh, yeah, I wear it all the time. So, yeah. So, you know, great stuff. Go out and copy yourself like five shirts, you know, and, um, Maybe he'll wrap some soap in it or something and send it yeah. to you and then bring me the soap. So uh, <laughs> just like uh, like special surprises, you open your box and you get like two bars in there. Yeah, right. that'd be cool. So hey, that's an idea for him then, right there. All right. So anyway, uh, it's yeah. like a seasonal pack, like a Christmas pack. Yeah, thing. we're always like, like coming up with ideas for stuff. Right? So I know it's genius. It is. People should people should steal our ideas like Floor Wrestling does. Yeah, and everybody else. So yeah. <laughs> you know, or uh, Daryl Weber is always stealing G stuff, like all his technique stuff, and, yeah. and like. <laughs> he'll, he'll constantly sending us uh, emails like stuff we go over and then like the next DVD set will be those that series of stuff it's awesome you know video cameras everywhere watching us all the time but I, I was a little saddened by yeah. that but you know I'm, I'm happy for uh, Jeremiah and, uh, you know yeah, and, I am and his company so but you know like I said still just a little bit sad that I got so used to it and I, I liked it and it was just man nah. so it was great so it was I loved it so yeah, didn't get to get any more of the orange cream. All right, so I'm gonna get off that little soapbox yeah. then and go ahead and move ah, on. Ah, uh-huh. that soapbox. There you go. Unintended. <laughs> yes, un- unintentionally intended. <laughs> un- unintentionally intended. Okay. But uh, 
I yeah. Thought, I thought it. I thought it was deliberate, but no. Like, yeah. I guess. I mean, it just works out that way, right? Yeah. Sometimes it does. Good. <laughs> good stuff. Um, wrestling talk. Yes. Well, All right. Where do we start? Like, okay. I guess the obvious starting point is what everybody else talked about, but we didn't because we. Kind of new. Yeah. Um, we didn't talk about it because you know we we just weren't together and stuff, but. I guess the U.S. Open and oh you know, and what do we say, Yanni, 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 and the surprise yeah. of it. Like, I personally had um, Jordan Oliver winning that weight, mm-hmm. you know. Um, yeah. I mean, and then I, I just so I thought I was like, I love Jordan Oliver. I mean, still do, but man, for Yanni to beat him in the mm-hmm. semis, yeah. and then to um, what did he beat Rutherford, or was it Knopf? Wait, wait, who did who did he beat in the? It was. Finals? Um, can look it up yeah. on the handy dandy phone. Yeah, no, we still got it. It was. Uh, I mean, it but winning the finals. Insane, was it? I think it was. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, think it was. So. Um, might have been. Yeah, I think it was. But like, just like, but but the fact that Yanni was. You know everything that everybody else said it, it is true. Like he two time NCAA champ, which is great. But he had some close matches. He was a close match with McKenna, close match with Ironman. You know, um, had a few different things going on through the year. He just didn't look like that one hundred percent dominant force yeah. throughout the year. Did I still pick him to win it? Yes, and uh, everything else. But the way he ran through it was Zane, yeah, yeah. The way he ran through that senior level competition, oh, gosh, yeah. it was just like at another level. No, and, and it was like whoa. And then he did that weird little thing uh, against was it, was it Oliver where he kind of did the he was on video. his head yeah. yeah and he literally just seen the interview where he was like he's yeah, like yeah, I, I just watched the I video. just watched it and figured I was gonna get scored on anyway so why not I'm try trying, it yeah like dude what? watched it one time and was like why not try this what? of all things it's like yeah it's <laughs> like he he's a I guess he's a visual learner it's like yeah okay I can do that like and then he who, who tries something in the semis. Of the U.S. US Open. Open. No, nobody. That's Nobody should do that. No, I don't want to say nobody should do that. No one should see something like no, a video nobody should and be, then try it. It's not that nobody game. should do it. Nobody should be like physically able to do it. Yeah. Is I think what we're getting No one should like, be ballsy enough to try that. You know? So, like, I mean, you should, that's when you should be like on your P's and Q's. But he, I guess he was just like, hey, I guess that shows he's having fun with it. Yeah. To an extent. Gosh. Which, is which like, also <laughs> just, I mean, so yeah. I was just like, dude is on another oh, yeah. level. And then beating Zane. I mean, Zane is... And I think Zane is the one that, um, honestly, I think, like, I don't know, it's it's going to be interesting. Like, everybody's been waiting on yeah. Zane. Everybody's waiting on Knopf. Everybody's waiting on Nickel. Everybody, matter of fact, everybody's been waiting on Penn State, the mm-hmm. Nittany Lion Wrestling Club, to do something internationally. Because, yeah. honestly, all they've had is David Taylor. Okay? Yeah. Um, they've been phenomenal NCAA-wise, but the next question has been, when are those guys going freestyle? What is Mark Hall doing? I mean, Mark Hall won the uh, last chance qualifier, but like, yeah, you know, I mean, but they've been, they've got Hall, Vincenzo, um, Knopf, Nickel, uh, RBY, but even though he's not like as highly touted as the others um, in the freestyle circuit, yeah. obviously Taylor's been like, um, I guess in a way their lead guy as far as the freestyle stuff. But when you think of Taylor anymore, you don't necessarily think of Penn State. You think not of any, Magic yeah, Man, mm-hmm. and you think of him, Dake, you know, what they've got going on with all that stuff. But, um, you know, but still the question has been like, what is Penn State going to do next? What are all those guys doing? What is the Nittany Lion Wrestling Club going to do? I mean, you've got all those other guys that were, you know, former, like, like Molnar and all those guys. You know I mean? But the question is, what are they going to do? And I guess the question is, is like, are they going to be able to dominate freestyle kind of like in a way they've dominated NCAAs? Um, I mean, you, you don't know because at the end of it, the day, freestyle is so it's much a different, different game. Than style. But again, also it is, and that's kind of where also like this whole thing that we've talked about was like yeah. RTC versus RTC would be cool. Like, hey, let's let's see what we could do. Like, yeah. who? who you know, what, cool. I mean, it'd be what are, it'd be cool. What are they? That, but, what are they able to do? Um, but yeah, I mean, like, but I in a way it was kind of weird too. Like the only other person that came out on top was uh, Nickel. Yeah, you know. I mean, and it's then, just but like it's, at the end of the day, I think it's just there's such a difference between folk style and freestyle that when you get these because there's been I mean how many guys have we seen in the past go from folk style and we think like oh they're going to be like world burners and then they come into like or, I mean and folk style and then they go to freestyle and they end up like they're doing you know, good like freestyle is like one of the it's really weird in the yeah. sense like once you get on top that person seems to stay on top and then they yeah. kind of get replaced and then there's not as much it's because there's not like a back and forth battle yeah. it's just like they either they're there or they're not yeah and like 
Dake and Taylor are the only two, not the only two, but they're the main two that have stuck around and continue to be dominant, continue to be who they are, mm-hmm. but yet be behind somebody on a wait until they yeah, spread them out. Out. You know what I mean? Out, so under, I mean, they're being behind Burroughs, but exactly. uh, like, but that's... like anybody else other than those two would have just bowed out, you yeah. know, or that seems to be what happens, which makes sense because your body can only take so much. This is the senior level. The money's not there, and yeah. you got to find careers. And like, how long? After you know four to five years, six years of the NCAA grind, are you willing to put your body through that again if you're not the man? Yeah. I think we talked about this that. last time because we talked about a lot of guys going to MMA, and we said that's yeah. the issue. It's just it's not that they're buying in; it's just their their prime years or, are so, yeah, it's yeah. so short. Or it's just kind of interesting to to notice, like you know, Nickel is one of the few that won it for Penn State at the U.S. Open, yeah. and. Um, like he's even said it like he's going to what, go through this Olympic cycle which is like he's going to give two more years of wrestling and then he's going to go fight yeah I mean he's already said it that, that's his career path and I'm like yeah. daggum like the, the wrestling part of me is jealous um, I wonder though I wonder but, though if it's because it's just there's more of a love for MMA that he has or if it's just there's not enough there's not enough of a career in, in wrestling in and or I like wonder how the, many. I, I wonder how that's been for a lot of people. I wonder if that's the issue with a lot of guys. Yeah, like that, the, the that career parts, or like, or is it a jump ship, or is it smart? Um, hey, these guys that went on and wrestled at the senior level, Henry Cejudo, yeah. you come in with a belt of some sort or a a medal of some sort, a world medal, which he was at the streets. Yeah, yes, he yeah. was. A world we'll medal, a world medal, an Olympic medal. All of a sudden, your marketability. Yeah. So it's smart market wise. Yeah. You know, like, hey, I can make more money because I have this added to my name. Mm-hmm. You know, so, it which is kind of weird to think. It's like, man, are these guys, you know, um, you know, entrepreneurs in that sense of? Which, I mean, they're all entrepreneurs, but like, are they? Yeah. You know, think about it. Are they thinking about it on that way versus? Just strictly like love for sport, you know. Yeah, it's just and, an yeah, interesting I mean, thing to it, think about. I mean, we could probably have that though. That that could be like an entire episode of is it love for sport or just lack of fu- uh, financial future in it? I mean, yeah. Because I mean, we all know the issues that have gone on with you know, you know, the U.S. wrestling program as far as like we've never been like we're not like Russia where they just we're pretty much they do it as a job for us. It's always been we've had to. You know, scratch and claw for what we've had. Yeah. And then, I mean, it's that's been why amazing. Fox catcher it, happened. Yeah. I mean, and it's been amazing, like what's come out with Rudis and everybody yeah. else, where which I think is just elevated, like the other contracts, and people are yeah. actually able to. I feel like make in a decade and doing. I feel things. like in a decade um, it could be where you actually have guys stay with the sport because a little bit longer yeah. and more because they're making more money with it and they're able to just train and uh, Burroughs, you know, with A six Chibani, and he's yeah. had all those like. Other than wrestling contracts that have been able to let him live. Oh, it's going to be Rudis. Um, Rudis is going to open up a school. You know, not too many. <laughs> like I'm telling you, and yeah. just so y'all know, when that happens, we supported them. We got their shoes first, so mm-hmm. and had a review throw us twice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> throw us um, on Rudis. Yeah. Or, oh, did you notice? Uh, um, do you, the shoes? Aspen had yeah. the new new the, Kyle yeah. on. What do you think of them? It, hard to say. Um, I because I saw a close up picture. Have you seen the close up of it? I think I saw one. Like, and that's the other thing. Like, I've actually been kind of MIA on some social media stuff lately, just because yeah. one busy, two trying to cut back on some phone time while doing other things, and then three just you know just been swamped. So I've seen some things, but I saw one picture yeah. of them. They're but they, like the picture I saw was was dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's kind of like a did, black. And I kind of wanted, it, yeah, and I kind of wanted to see. From the side, it looked cool, but it just was like just one one shot. I'm curious yeah. to see. Hope they still have the, the, the same. Game. I wonder if that yeah, and I wonder if that same bottom is going to be on there. I, that I bottom sure is going to you know uh, was I on sure there. I hope so. I wonder if that was cool. So, but you know, I mean, it'd be a little bit before I get some more shoes again. But uh, I mean, it doesn't have to be. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. So <laughs> treat yourself. Yeah, live your best life. You are right. Yeah. You are right, my friend. Don't tell the children that they want stuff. <laughs> <laughs> You get nothing. You've, you've worked hard. You've worked hard to earn this. Hey, there you go. Yeah. Earning it. So, um, <laughs> but yeah. So that's the U. Well, that's not the U.S. Open. I think that was like yeah. the biggest takeaway from the U.S. Open. Um, the U.S. Open. Uh, actually, there's a lot to to talk about from the U.S. Oh, yeah, Open, but I don't want to like go into it too too much because just to keep us going. But anyway, um, so U.S. Open dependent on the weight class this is to help some people out that while we're talking about the world team and the uh, world team process with final X and everything if there was 
a previous world medalist, that person has already the option of sitting to the finals of yep. Final X. Now, if you win the US Open, if I remember correctly, you sit to the finals of the World Team Trials. Yeah. Okay? And then everybody else has to wrestle the mini tournament and then wrestle you in a, a thing to yeah. go face the final X We person. had an entire episode now, last year on this. I think. Yeah, I think we did. Yeah. So I'm just trying to qu do the quick break yeah, yeah. breakdown. Now, if there was not a current World Team medalist, the winner of the U.S. Open mm -hmm. got to sit to the final final X because you now became yeah. that person. I think that's why weights You're kind like, of like the, um, stand, the stand yeah. in or interim type. Yeah, title holder yeah. in essence. That's why. Uh, 65 with Yanni was yeah. so important. That's why 57, where Dayton Fix yeah. won, beat Gilman, which I actually had Gilman pick to win it, just yeah, because... I had, I had Fix. On that, I think I, I picked Gilman. Like, I wasn't surprised either way, but I think I picked Gilman just because I, I was thinking just, like, um, not muscle memory, but seeing, you know, just being a little bit older, a little bit stronger, really, you know, evenly paced match. I didn't see anything that changed in Dayton's freestyle game from the previous year when yeah. he wrestled um, Gilman but then again he's been working on and I was saying well he's been working on folk style all year long yeah. and Gilman's still um, just freestyle but anyway so Dayton now sits to the final final X mm -hmm. I do think Gilman will um, come, back come back and be the person to face him there at, at that weight not to you know slide anybody else that way but I just think that uh, those are the best guys there um, unless somehow Spencer Lee was somewhere but um you know, so the, so that's what, how that works. So you know, some of those weights depend on you know who was at it before that person now sits to the finals of, of final X. But uh, a lot of our weights were already set. And, you know, I mean, uh, now we have fixed set the finals there. Uh, Sixty one. I can't remember who was there. Yeah, you can just either open another tab or just go to Safari. Yeah, the Safari down here. Yeah, and then. 65, now we got Yanni, we got 70. Oh, who beat James Green? Uh, Ryan Deacon beat James yeah. Green. Um, 74, obviously. Um, Burroughs is sitting to the finals. Imar is a potential re matchup for him again at 70. Is it, is it 79? Is that the weight? Um, you got. Oh, that's the other one. Dake. Yeah. Are you surprised that Kyle Date did not go down? Um, yeah, that's junior freestyle. Let's go senior. Senior correct. Senior, senior, senior freestyle. Like, um, oh, it doesn't have it listed. We got to go to full brackets. That's fine. Um, are you surprised that he didn't go down this year? Like mm. everything was leading toward him. I guess we got to change yeah. it again over there. But everything was seemingly was like him going down to. Senior men. Men's freestyle, there we are. Yeah. Um, well, wait, where were we at? Just cl click on the one where it says quarter. So that, yeah. yeah. So 57, we got, yeah, so that gives us fix, gum and Zane, all that. All right, so 57. 57, we, we had. 61. Who was 61? That was the one I asked about. Uh, it was. Cody Brewer, yeah. Cody Brewer. That, and that was kind of an op wide open weight, not a whole lot of people there. Not not a whole lot of people just. Which that's what we've always talked about with that. Um, the non Olympic weights yeah. and whatnot. So, but. Um, then we got Yanni B. Zane. Zane. Yeah, Jason Ness. Uh, Jordan Oliver. Look at what, what he did to Oliver. Though. I know. Oh I mean, he, he, he pretty much, like you said, destroyed everybody. Mm -hmm. So. Um, then we've got James Green, Ryan yeah, Deacon. Deacon won that one. Off place third. You know what I mean? Which, I mean, it's not. No. Not um, 74. But I obviously. really thought that, I thought this was the year that Dake was coming yep. down. Um, that shocked me though, Valencia. Um, no. no, no, that's Anthony Valencia. That's the brother. That's not Zahid. Zahid is the oh, one that. Oh yeah, he's yeah. the heavier one. Yeah, oh. he's the he's the one that was yeah yeah, yeah. 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 So and apparently Derringer is just killing it. A like world beater. Oh, yeah. at this weight, which is going to be amazing to see. Um, this is the weight where that's the weight where it could be Valen or, uh, Valencia, Derringer, yeah. and Dake. Yeah. Okay, so that's kind of crazy. 86, this is, um, uh, is this a, uh, um, Magic Man's weight? 86 would be, yeah. Yes, 86 yeah, is Magic be. Man, so that's yeah. David Taylor's weight. Uh, we got Downey here, which is kind of a, a cool story, him being mm -hmm. there. And then you go from 86 to 92, 
Um, this is a matchup that I want to see. Yeah. Nico wins this one, and you've got the alien, Jaden mm -hmm. Cox. Okay. So, I mean, I still got Jaden. I mean, I, I kind of do right now too, but like yeah. that that matchup is just so intriguing. Oh, it, it is and, intriguing, but I, I'm still going to stick. Oh, with I, I, I especially when he did it beat the streets. And Gadsden, Gadsden again, probably versus Snyder here. Yeah. Um, and then, and then uh, who won twenty five here? Uh, Adam Coon. Coon, yeah, Coon. But who is Gwiz sitting? Was Gwiz? I think Gwiz, I think Gwiz is. Or is now? Or no, positive. Coon is now sitting to the finals because Coon won. No wait, Coon beat um, Robbie Smith in freestyle. No, Greco and Greco. Yeah. To make the world team. Yeah. But he didn't beat Gwiz. Yeah, he lost to Gwiz last year. Lost to uh, Gwiz. That's right. Weeks. So remember he he caught the plane from Gwiz, Colorado. Yeah, too. So did Gwiz win a medal? Is Gwiz sitting in the finals, or Gwiz, or does this win put him in the finals of Final X? That's a good question. I don't know. I'm curious. Yeah, I'm curious now too. I'm not sure if Gwiz medaled. I think he did. He got bronze. Didn't he get bronze again? For what? At, uh, at Worlds. At Worlds. Because if he was a because if he did medal, then he'd be at the finals. If he didn't medal, then Kuhn is now in the finals of Final X. Which I, I like Kuhn like taking any of those spots. Like yeah, I think he can. Hey, I'm cool with it. Yeah, I mean I know. <laughs> I I I, I need, I'll allow it. You know, my my non Michigan man. Huh? Yeah. Worlds. So, um, let's see. <laughs> um, oh, I did 2019. Oh, well. Oh, uh, yeah, oh, well. So, but um, I think those, the, the potential lineups or things are crazy. Um, I think there was talk about whether or not Dake was injured right now, because I know Dake wanted to go down, possibly medal at Worlds this year, yeah. so that he could sit next year for the Olympic year, and then... If that was his chance, then Burroughs would have to go through the Wrestleback tournament to wrestle him in the finals. Now, the way it's looking, after Dake wins Worlds this year, yep. him dropping down to Burroughs' weight, he's going to have to go through the mini tournament to face Burroughs at like Final X to make the Olympic yep. team and stuff like that. Um, you know, and that's the he's crazy a smart thing. Guy. And that's the crazy thing. We kind of talked about the splits already, and I guess it's going to also lead into some of the maybe the stuff that we talked about with Beat the Streets coming up here in a second, but. Again, are, are, is it Dake's time? Like, is it Dake's time right now to to, to do it? Like, ah, uh, I, I don't know. And which I, I genuinely don't because we had the same discussion last time too. I mean, I know I, we're, I we're being know, a dead horse, but it's still worth it to talk yeah, about. It, no, it is. It absolutely is. Mm -hmm. Um, because what we, I mean, we're seeing a different Dake. I mean, granted, he's slightly heavier. So him cutting down, I mean, you have to think. I wonder what that's. The, yeah, that is that gonna, gonna be like? is it gonna affect him? Um, if it doesn't, then I mean, right. seeing. I mean, is it is Burrow's time done? I mean, I don't think I've seen anything to okay. to even come to that. I want to come back to this one just because of like beat the streets, like our yeah. discussion with uh, with Dave Burrows. But some of these other matchups potentially, um, I think are going to be great. And then I'm very curious about where people go. Obviously, we're curious about Dave going down. Yeah. I want to see, um, you know. Um, Taylor obviously um, doesn't have to go anywhere, right? No. I mean, Taylor's good. Say. But who. We had a whole list. The only yeah. ones that that um, could is. Um, uh, you got Valencia and whatnot. Um, you could have Jaden. Oh, Jaden Cox. That was yeah, good. Jaden Cox. Does Jaden Cox go down? Or does he go or up? Or does he go up? And then on the same note, Bo Nichols got the same choice to make. Does he go down to try to wrestle against teammate? Or does he go up? Um, and try to go with Snyder and or Jaden. If Jaden goes, like, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. where are all these people going to go now? I can see him. I hate I the Olympics. Go, I could see him. Yes, I said up. that. I hate the Olympics oh, yeah. because of we go from 10 weights to Seven, six weights. Or six, yeah. To six weights. And then we got these guys. We got to figure out where they're going and what they're doing. And where's Dave going? Where's Deringer going? Yeah. Um, you know, where is, where's Nickel going? Where is, where is Jaden going? Um, Do you think it's which, time to add more weight classes to the... The Olympics, the Olympics needs to. They need to have yeah. the ten weights that they do at Worlds. It's it's absurd. I don't see. I, mean, I don't see why you wouldn't. It's it's, it's ridiculous. It's absurd. It makes no sense. But like, but what's going to go on? Where are these where are these guys going to go? Is anybody going up? Um, I don't see Kyle Snyder going up to heavyweight. No, I don't see. I don't, I don't see he's going to be there. But I see like, him staying where he's at. I see him I mean, staying there. It's a like, perfect way. But it's one. a different Jaden now. It could be a different Bo. I'm mean, like, oh my goodness. There's yeah. so much going on that I'm like, I I, I worry about our our. Our Olympic team, and when I say worry, it's 
I worry that it's unfair that we have man, I hate so, to say much that, so much talent that's going to yeah. get squeezed out. And, like, yeah, I guess I have some of my favorites. Like, I, I want to see. But I, I want to see I, Dake because Dake's one of my all-time favorites. I know, I can't but, but, but I want to see Burroughs, too, because he's one of my favorites. Like, yeah. it's one of those things I don't want to pick because I have too many favorites in this yeah. case. And it it's driving me crazy. And I'm like, who? It'd be like asking to give up ice cream or chocolate. It's like, they're both really good. Why would I want to choose it either? Like... I don't want. I don't want to have to. Choose you can have both flavors in one with chocolate ice cream. Yeah, I mean, but you can't have Kyle Burroughs or Jordan Dake. Like you couldn't like blend them together and make one person. Although that should, would be cool. They should have children. I don't think that works that way. Yeah, I don't think it works <laughs> at all. No, it doesn't. All right, let's do a splice something together now. <laughs> <laughs> Take your genes and yeah, that's what I meant. Like we're gonna like. <laughs> <laughs> Ty's yeah. like, where did we just go with this? <laughs> no, this just took a weird turn. I know it's <laughs> no, but yeah, you're right. and we need to open our minds. But like, yeah, no, not really, not like that. Yeah. So, um, it biologically doesn't make sense. It really doesn't. You know? <laughs> oh, okay. So since we're off track and we're gonna yeah. come back to being on track, that's what. And I, all that stuff is stupid that we have in today's time. And but I was gonna say this, like, look, I'm a fat man identifying with being skinny, so I'm trans slender. I'm trans slender. <laughs> I told somebody that today. It was funny. All right, back on track. <laughs> now that the, now that that's out of the way. <laughs> now that that's out of the way. That had to be said. We couldn't let it go. I, I don't know. Guess. Yeah, I told the joke once today. I felt like I needed to tell it again. So, and they liked yeah. it. I was gonna say, did it offend anyone? Huh? No, I didn't offend anybody. Everybody liked it. They were like, "Sweet, I'm gonna go use that." Huh? I was like, "Okay, if you say you're gonna use it, that's fine. You can go use it." But I wasn't gonna say you're gonna use it because you're a girl. So I'm not calling you fat or anything because that'd be like really weird. Okay. That's so, a- whole can of worms oh yeah it would so but that being said like yeah it'd be awesome if we yeah. could splice some of these people genetically together and like have like the perfect we could freaks. have what's his name uh the guy that used to wrestle for russia the big dude what was his name uh i started with a k i think um oh i know you're talking uh, about yeah yeah i'm trying to remember his name the freak yeah or what they call him Koloff? The, yeah cold no, not cold but no it's uh um, wasn't he the freak i mean he no, was i thought, I thought the monster was, thing i don't know I forget what they called it it was um Oh, gosh, she was just amazing. But Alexander, yeah, Krellen, 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 yes, Krellen, Krellen. Yeah. yes. And they called him like the experiment. Was the name? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I got it before I even typed it in Google. I just remembered. No, so, I was gonna say yeah. I think that's an experiment. It would be. That would be yeah, a crazy real experiment. experiment. Yep. So have a uh, you real life Captain America there? So yeah. Anyway. So all that being said, beat the streets. Um, I didn't get to watch all of it. Came back from soccer. I caught a lot of the highlights, but I did see. That's pretty much uh, what happened to me. I was I was working that night, so yeah. I had to catch up on the highlights mainly. So, but I did get to see about half of it. Then I was working. So Burrows and but I was working on doing some other stuff. So I guess I'll since that's the highlight one, we can get to that one. Yeah, well, um, there's not much to last... talk about. I mean, Askren just looked. I mean, he didn't really well, do anything. Yeah. I mean, but again, I had some questions I was yeah. going to ask you about that. But so let's go through. Um, Dag, um, some really cool things happen. Like, what do you think of Siriano? Siriano beating Nikki Pushups, huh? Nikki Pushups. Push yeah, I mean, dude's yeah. just a beast. That's one of Devin's favorite guys right now. Um, which isn't yeah. a bad guy to like I'm still watch. A little, I'm still a little salty after what happened to NCAA's, but yeah, you know, I mean, yes, and no. I mean, I think he, you know, yeah. I mean, he won it. So he, yeah, he won. I just <laughs> don't like how he won. Don't like it. What was it? Takedown. Okay, you can get t- <laughs> technically, yeah, it was with the takedown, but I feel the headgear pull was there. Just saying. We had the same discussion last time. Let's just say this. I, I know she got the snazzy haircut. If Fix's haircut looked like yours... He wouldn't have that problem. Like, we would have been able to see for sure yeah. what would have happened with I'm him. not going to tell Fix to cut his hair, though. Ah, I'm not telling him to cut it either. Yeah. But, like, I'm just saying, if he had your haircut... What if he pulls like what the Jordan brothers? Like it would, oh, dude. They the just because like, yeah, they yeah. had long blonde yeah, had locks too, hair, and then they just. Yeah. But yeah, but like yeah, I think in that case you would have been able to see if it was. But for yeah. that, like, so you go be salty, and then um, that's still I still haven't gotten over it. Yeah. Oh, and then like on top of that, Yanni beating the number one. Like Yanni straight killed it. It beat the streak. Yeah, he did. He did. Um, but was that guy number one or number two? Yeah. But. Pretty sure yeah. he was number one. Bajor, Bajor, or whatever yeah. his name was. Pretty sure he's number, but, the number one. Number all right, one. so let's go through. So, Seriano wins, beats world team member. Yeah. He's not even planning on doing any of the freestyle stuff, I don't think. Yeah. Do you think he should throw his hat in the ring? 
for that? Like, oh, would that be after any... that? Yeah, I think so. Um, I, think I mean, it'd be interesting. I wonder, like, if you do that and you win, like, why? Why wouldn't you in a way? Yeah, I mean, like, wrestling's wrestling. Role, training yeah. is training is training, and you know, I think it'd be, I think it would be awesome to see Seriano in the mix of yeah. that stuff, and that would make an interesting dynamic. But then, for... then again, it goes to the exact same problem we were just talking about. It uh, just so many, over, so many good people. It oversaturates it, and then someone's not going to be able to go. And, yeah, yeah. It's, so I mean, it would be cool. It would be fun to be a fan and see it, but at the same time, like, oh yeah, it it would still suck at the same time to see yeah, that. Yeah, um, definitely. But yeah, and then you had Yanni winning. Um, what ha- what happened to uh, Cowboy Bolt job against Quiz? Which Quiz is? I didn't see that one. I, I missed that. One. That was an early Quiz, on one. I mean, it looked like to me because I didn't get to see the whole match. I saw some of the highlights, but it looked like Quiz bullied him. Like pretty much. Yeah, I, mean, I could be wrong. I mean, it so could be wrong. I don't know. I'd have to. I'll have to go back and watch that one. Uh, that'd be interesting to see. I'm now curious about it. Yeah. Um, I just talk. I talk. I just saw the result and just kind of took it as you know, Gwiz yeah. being the senior freestyle dude. He's been doing it. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah, n- no big surprise there. And like I said, I could. Uh, compl- I just saw the highlights of it. Yeah. From the highlights I saw, it just looked like. A well, I boy. think that leads into kind of what. Um, some of the stuff I was going to say about Beat the Streets, which yeah. was kind of interesting. Um, next thing, um, we'll go ahead and do Snyder, because I think that was interesting. Oh, like, his, his ending of that was... Yeah, beautiful. I mean, oh my goodness. Like, five. wow. Like, five sticking people. Um, just, again, it's not really bullying somebody to do that to him, but it's like, dang, it's amazing. But what about... It, it just um, showed his strength, too. His I mean, strength, just, yeah. Which is going to lead into what I was going to say with, again, like, people trying to kill people. Um, <laughs> the alien... Yeah, the how he picked oh up. Oh my gosh! Right. Have you seen the the picture of the mid throw? Like, yeah, the guy has like arms are like like he is like just I was like I saw that and I was eyes, like what you see. I was like he's going to kill him. Yeah. And now luckily enough for him, the way he landed, it only was a two exposure or whichever. But yeah. I mean, but who yeah. has the strength to pick somebody up at that angle like that and then try to back arch him? The alien. You know, I mean, I mean the named. dude is lucky to be alive. Yeah, I, I saw that. I saw the picture, the still picture of it, and like I could just. I felt the concern for the man. I mean, I was he's like, so that happy that he landed on his butt and only exposed for two yeah. in a way. Like, Lucky. Pops is mad that he landed on his head in a way, and next yeah. time he will kill him for real. I mean, not really. I mean, it's just jokingly, but yeah. like, it seems like people were out there, like, murdering people. Get what Burroughs did for, to Askren. Burroughs you know? just drove Askren off the stage. Yep. Um, and then this one was completely incidental, but you said you yeah. saw it again. I was off, uh, you know, didn't see it. Um, David Taylor got hurt at Beat the Streets, which yeah. that was a shame. But I kept on watching. It just looked like a knee torque, and yeah, then I, and then you said it looks like he'll be back soon. Yeah, well, he posted something on Instagram, and I was watching, it, and he said he's like, ah, you know, I didn't want to, I didn't get the result I wanted to give to you guys. You know, I'd have liked mm-hmm. to actually um, com- compete more. He said, but it's from what I've been told, he's like he was saying it's not it's not too serious. He's like, I'll be back soon. I'll be back better than ever. And I'm just like, oh, okay, that sounds yeah, like someone. I'm sure like, he's going to be back. Now, what I thought was interesting was when I was watching that match, like I saw it and I yeah. kind of, like I said, was going back and forth and looked up and saw that and I was like, oh my God, he's hurt. And I watched, I was like, okay, nothing was malicious or things yeah. kind of crazy looking. But then like, it looked like they taped him up and looked like he was ready to go. But then I think the director of Beat the Streets came out and was like, no, no you know, yeah. we're not going to. And I was like, classy move. We all wanted to see Dave Taylor wrestle some more. The classy move on the yeah. on the host of Beat the Streets to realize this is a charity event. David Protect Taylor, wrestlers. hey, don't don't do anything weird. Just go ahead and get yourself checked out. Make sure everything's cool and yeah. legit. Yeah, you could be one hundred percent fine, percent fine with some tape on it and ready to go. But we don't want to see anybody get hurt. And I know, and I know day, he didn't want to get his hand raised. But this is a charity event, and you know, as a yeah. fan, I don't want to be greedy on at the expense of exactly. somebody's I mean, world and Olympic dreams. It's like you said, it's a charity event. So at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter as far as like it's not no. really going to affect you and no, it's just bragging yeah. rights and it's just a it's cool bragging thing. rights and it's a cool thing know. to promote the sport yeah. and, and so yeah, there's no need in going in there and risking then, further yeah. injury for exactly for nothing and then even though it was just bragging rights but on the flip side Yanni had great competition and looked like a daggum world medalist contender if not Olympic contender um, I'm guessing he Olympic red shirts next year. Maybe. You know, Ironman is. I'm yeah. guess. I mean, Ironman is. I don't know. Is. I mean, we'll have to. Um, see. I'm, I'm sure guessing he will. Fix will. You know, I think a lot of people will be. Like, I don't see why he wouldn't. But I mean, if yeah. he doesn't, I mean, it still would be cool. So, I mean, to see him. Um, Speaking of Olympic red shirts, the only one I think won't Olympic red shirt is going to be Spencer Lee. Mm. I think Spencer Lee realizes that. With Penn State's fall off, and this could be more for another episode. Mm-hmm. 
they need every point they can get if they want to win NCAAs next year. Yeah. Well, you saw who... Uh, and he hasn't gone out yet because we yeah. still got Gilman and everything going well, with you it. you saw so. uh, the guy he beat at NCAAs, Mueller, beat... Mm-hmm. Um, Oh, Mueller was right. He, yeah, he, beat, he beat Pitch and Eden. Did he beat Pitch? Okay, because that was one of the early matches, too. Yeah, he so, beat Again, like, so that's when I was coming back, so. I forget what the score was. From what I read, it seemed like it was a, I don't want to say dominates, but it seemed like a mm-hmm. kind of a one-sided match, maybe. Huh. I didn't get to see the match. Yeah, I got to go, I still got to so check out the first, like, first half. I saw the, the I saw a lot of the big matches, but the mm-hmm. ones I've gotten to so far were the one, like, the ones I was really interested in. Oh, yeah. I kind of yeah. worked my way down. Yeah, it's kind of going, <laughs> yeah. yeah, when you have the option of starting at the, the highlight match, it's you like, I don't want to wait till the main event. Like, yeah. I want to watch the main event first. All right, so, main event, what I've been, like, putting off and putting off. Jordan Burroughs, Ben Askren. Loved the hype going into oh, it. Yeah. Loved all the talk back and forth. It was fun. It was it lighthearted. There was nothing it, malicious. It was fun. Talking. It was lighthearted. It was good trash talk. It was good promotion. Oh, my favorite one was during the press conference. Did you hear what Burroughs said? What are you going to tell your kids when I beat yeah, he's you? He's like, what are you, how are you going um, to coach your guys at the RTC when I, what, after what I do to you or something like that? And yeah. I was like, oh. And then like, he's like, you know what? It's be a good thing. I've never lost. So yeah. I, I don't know. My kids are like... What do you know? You've never lost. Well, now I'll know what it feels like so I can help them out some more. You know, handled it great. Um, That being said, this was an exhibition match. It's beat the streets. It's for charity. Does not Burroughs seem to, and sometimes I get it, but does Burroughs not seem, like, angry when he wrestles anybody from the U.S.? Sometimes, yeah. No, like, I think he, like, when he wrestles Dake, when he wrestles Taylor, because, like, he always, like... I think he, like, finds a way to, like, he's, it's fuel. Mm-hmm. Like, when he doesn't want people to doubt him. And, like, I'm wondering, like, as he's getting older now, is there something more there that he feels like he needs to prove? Even though this was exhibition, did he feel like if he didn't come out and do this to, yeah. to Askren, that somebody, and when I say somebody, probably, like, 10,000 Twitter people or whatever, or people would start being like, yeah. up, oh, he's done, he's done. Now... I can't say anything because I've kind of said I kind of think Dake might be the next thing coming up, but I don't know 100% for sure. But, like, is he doing this, like, trying to just, like, establish yeah. his dominance? Yes. Okay. The, thing, the, the thing I was also thinking is... And like, I mean, because he, he pushed the dude all, I mean, the first time yeah. around. Like, could he not have, like, let off just a little bit there in this exhibition? Yeah. Like, you knew the, the stage. Somebody else Even went off earlier. Year, that very like, end, that last double was pretty brutal. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, it just seems like... I don't want to say unnecessary because it's a wrestling yeah. match and you're out there to win. Okay, I get that. But at the same time, this was a charity event. It wasn't like Askren was like, after her first couple fields, you should have realized that it's not like he is, you know, out there to really challenge you. He's just out there to wrestle with he's you. The, and he needs to have fun. And, and, and he kept smiling yeah. the whole way. And I kind of think he did a good job of like... Um, Kind of playing it off a little bit. I don't yeah. know if I would be maybe slightly upset. He's like, dude, I thought we were gonna take it easy on me a little bit out here, and he kind of yeah. laughed it off. But I part of me kind of wonders, like, yeah, all jokes and some things come from a little bit of somewhere. Like, was it necessary? Like, part of me thinks that I wonder, and this could be like pure speculation. I don't think anyone has said this other than me right now. I wonder if it has to do with Ben has been such an advocate for wrestling, and it, I, maybe Jordan feels like. Since Ben's getting more of the attention than Jordan is, maybe he's kind of feeling like slighted there. Like, again, why aren't you what? listening to me? He's always like, he seems to be like, again, like finding that fuel yeah. of like, anybody doubted me. I told you it wasn't Dake's time. Yeah. It's not, it's not Dake's time. It's not yeah. Magic Man's time. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, what you like, like, he's done stuff. Like, like, you've seen him like, what, US Open, like, when he flipped like Dan yeah. Taylor's feet out from underneath him on the yeah. edge and like, give him it. I don't normally mind all that stuff, and I don't really at all, but I'm just. Noticing a trend, and I'm wondering is as he's getting older, like in his windows getting yeah. shorter, is he getting a little more short with this to like mine, yeah. mine, and that mine. battery may be trying to put and fear in the younger guys' house. Yeah, like, you know, and like, like, and but at the same time, that kind of makes me wonder, like, is there something there that he's covering? And like, then there's like, also there's also the and I'm literally but then again, he takes a guy down in like ten yeah. seconds out at the end of that uh, yeah. that match at Pan Am's when he's down by one and scores yeah. in ten seconds. And like, this is literally oh something I'm just thinking of. Maybe what he's trying to do, maybe he's trying to motivate the younger guys. Like, look, if you're gonna take me out, you're gonna have to be another level of savage. Like, you gotta have this killer mentality. He's Which, like, so again, I'm gonna show sense. you what you need to. I, I want to show you a type of energy you need to have more than I guess something like that. This is all speculation. I'm not saying this is what he's. Oh thinking. no! I mean, this is we, just, don't, we don't. Yeah, know we don't. We don't know. We don't know what he's thinking. I mean, because so. at the end of the day, he um, 
I mean, the only person I could tell you is uh, would be Burns him. himself. Yeah, but he's not going to give away any of that that, yeah. that secret I mean, knowledge. But that, whether that or not could he's, be true too. I mean, whether or not he's half a step behind, or whether or not he, he is, feels the need to be motivation that shortening. And if he knows it's shortening, and he's yeah. and he wants to go out, you know, on his shield, maybe he's like, if I do this, I want the next person to be ready. Like, if I guess it just out, they're gonna it makes me. Yeah. Wonder and question more so on my mind. Yeah. Is he transitioning to his next role as wrestling advocate? Oh, as wrestling why do people person? think he's going to MMA? And then, I mean, I think he would do a charity fight. Someone t- they're like because they said Dana uh, was interested in it, and then someone was like, I, I, I want to go to MMA. To, I'm like, I no. still need to go back and read yeah. all the banter between him and Chel Sonnen and yeah. like how like that kind of got heated, you know? So I think all that got really heated, and it's kind of funny. Like, hey, buddy, you want me to fix that for you? But yeah, I think that um, I because it was my brother who said it. He was like, "I'd love to see uh, Burroughs go to MMA." I'm like, "I, it's not." I'd love happen. to see him do it for a fight, just for yeah. the fun of it, you know. Just well, because, um, I mean, it would be cool to see him like for the fun, but like, I don't see him doing it seriously because one, he's a family man. No, and well, he's, I feel like he's not he's at his prime with, for it. So yeah, no, I feel like once he's done with wrestling, once he's done with wrestling, I think he's going to be done with everything. Henry, that's no, no. So, said no because that's recording something down there okay so but and you want to sit here and take a look all right my little guy it's still doing it but i i just wonder like is it like is is there something more behind it of something i've noticed um you know oh sorry um it's just like it's making me wonder do i i, I guess in a way i'm looking for a reason to pick against him, yeah. Like I'm, I'm trying, and that's just and a, it's and, so hard to pick no. And him. and it's a I'm gonna be honest. It's a selfish want. It's a yeah. selfish like reasoning because I don't want to pick against him because I'm like because he is quasi term. He is the goat. He's the best. Oh, yeah, I mean, and I don't want to. Pick, I I kind of and part of it's just me being important. Progress. Don't switch. Stop, Henry. Okay. All right. So it's part of me wanting to, as I told somebody, it's like, I never placed a bet that I know I'm not going to win, jokingly. Yeah. It's kind of me wanting to sure up something in my mind, like give validation to me something. Me against Mark Hall for the past two years. <laughs> yeah, you know, I just want to validate some reasoning to something there. And, you know, again, I might just be looking, but I've just noticed it too. Yeah. I'm like, man, he just, he seems vicious. Now, I think in some cases, like, I get it, like, when he's wrestled against Chimizo and American Money funding, because yeah. he's training here and there. I, those ones, I'm like, dude, you got, you're legit every reason to oh, take I off agree the world. I like, can understand why he'd be you know, at that Yeah, I'm, I'm understanding all that one. It's like, how are you going to use our resources and not claim us, yeah, type thing? You know, and, but, like, but some of this stuff, this one just kind of, I don't know, maybe because I am also still been a It, it kind of bothered me, though, too, a little bit watching Askren, because I am a fan of Askren. It, but you could tell that Askren hasn't been competing that, in like that, nine years. That's what I meant, though. Like, yeah. you know, Askren's like getting up and kind of laughing some of these, yeah. some of these takedowns off and stuff off. But and I'm like, I'm like, you're like, I'm like, I'm like dude, you Come should on, have, like, you, like, you should know that feel after like the, after your first, you're up, eight yeah. zero. Like, you should feel like, okay, well, let's just, let's practice room live. This should have been a flow go. roll type thing, like huh? a flow roll type. Thing. You yeah, know like, I mean? like let's just. You know, I've already established where we are with it, and let's just kind of have fun with it from there. That's that's what I thought, and I was like, and then I was like, dude, he like finished him like Henry. He finished him off, and it was kind of like, dude, that was. I thought he was gonna do it in the first period, and then when he didn't, I was like, I was hoping for the second to like go. So there was one spot where Askren kind of scrambled and got to JB's legs. Yeah. And then I was hoping, I was like, maybe, maybe, we'll, maybe scramble we'll see here, some crazy maybe, stuff yeah, for a second. For fun, you know? No, but it was just kind of like, it's kind of like when you used to watch Ronda, like for instance, Ronda Rousey and Kat Zingano. Kat Zingano, mm-hmm. when they fought, she charged Ronda and Ronda beat her in like 10 seconds. Yeah. You're just like, really? Like, that's, uh, that's, was, like that, that's the main event? Like, yeah. No. That was a waste of my time. Yeah. And not to say that that was... No, I mean, I'm the, not saying it's all but, a but at the same time, game, it was yeah. kind of like, Make it, it was like, uh, we, were, we were wanting to see... Some yeah. more of this flow, some more of this interaction, some more of this, some more of this fun wrestling that I know but, could have been. But can we, let's talk about this though. 
it did its job. You know how many people were talking about that? You know how many people were messaging me, like, who do you have? Who do you have? Oh, yeah, no, no. Like, no. people who don't even really keep up with wrestling now, like, in the gym, people would be talking about talking to me about it. They're like, do you have Burroughs or do you have Asker? And you think that... Uh, oh, yeah. They, and it's no, so it, all that part did its job, no but idea. I just, I wanted the, yeah. the actual part to, like... People had no idea that Askren, like, still actively... They are like, well, he, all he does is MMA now. I'm like, mm, no, he doesn't. Like, he still does... Oh, we go past 45 minutes. Okay. I think we were right at an hour when it happened last okay. time. Okay. So. so, but yeah. I, was I think like, we're, we're, we're... I was like, no, I mean, time. Ben Askren still wrestles every day. Yeah, no, he it's does. It's just, there's a difference between wrestling in a wrestling room and then actively and competing and at the co- top level yeah and the competitive wrestling yeah. for matches there's like a that, different so. mentality there's a different intensity there's a different mm-hmm. um there's just a different mindset all the time oh yeah definitely i'm yeah. not saying that wrestling wrestling rooms are easy because wrestling rooms are still no no the I, mean, he, thing you'll ever be I, in. I still think as can roll with anybody yeah. i still think that like you put them in a practice room situation for like two hours and they, they can roll with you they can yeah they can go and they they can be competitive with each other because um, there you don't have as much to worry about it's yeah more but like i do think like in this case it was that match time situation german bros established that he was the dominant force in that and then it could have just been let's watch some wrestling yeah. you know so I, I just think it's interesting it's going to be crazy um, to think what's going to go on with, with everything with that coming up you know and I yeah. just man next year I mean it's it's sad to be looking past the worlds already <laughs> but like next year's Olympic yeah. thing is so well, like whoa I wonder what beat the streets will do to top this next year I don't know because last year we had Burroughs Tremizo yeah. which was every, you know it was a big match and they and I, I liked what they did with trying to do the NCAA with Worthy and that was kind of cool Dake. Yeah, I mean, well, which yeah, I mean, they, they I, mean, want, I don't they, see why they would do that. They would yeah, that would be yeah. that would it wouldn't make sense, but at the same time, it would still be cool to see yeah. as like a exhibition, like because then if he if Dake wins the exhibition, everyone's like, it's doubting people's mind about yeah. Burroughs, and then that, I'm thinking of it from like a entertainment aspect. Oh yeah, like, because when, then when it's like we're gonna be too. Yeah, I really like and, what they've been doing, so it's yeah. it's cool to see, and unless cool. they have Chael Sonnen, unless the Chael Sonnen thing is like oh. a. What if it's a work like they do in wrestling and Chael's just working him and Burroughs for next year? <laughs> what if that's the case? I'm just saying. Beat no the streets will be, be, the streets will, be, will be all wrestling and then they'll have a, a mock MMA match. Yeah. Well, Fight. because we, Chael Sonnen over the years, that's what he does. He plays a character. I, he's the, he's, his nickname is the bad guy. I mean, yeah, it's it's quite amazing. So It'd be interesting. Yeah, it'd be fun. All right, cool. It was great to see Chael and Tito rematch. Still got chill. I do too. I don't want to see Tito fight anymore. No, it doesn't even have to be a fight. I'm talking about a straight wrestling match. Oh. With the singlets. The old singlets. We're bringing back the Oregon singlet. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Ah. Awesome stuff. All right. It's good to finally get back in here and record. So we'll uh, hopefully keep some more stuff going on. Uh, we'll check our stuff out. Come back at you guys with a couple podcasts. Or not podcasts. Of course, podcasts. Okay. Subcasts coming up. And some technique. Um, We've been saying yes. we're going to do it. We haven't mm-hmm. done it. We yeah. Don't we Which we now have. A, we can do it at the gym. Yeah. So. You know, all that time and type stuff. Summer's coming up, so we'll be trying to obviously coordinate our schedules there, get some stuff going on and everything like that. So awesome talking to everybody again, and we will hopefully holler at you again real soon. All right. We got that one. Bye-bye. <laughs>